Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to put in some hands-free truck bed lights um, that can automatically turn off when you close your tailgate and also have an off switch if you uh, leave your tailgate open for an extended amount of time. So I picked up some five ten dollar uh, waterproof LED strips. This is where this switch will go. And for a five and a half foot bed on this F-150, um, 16.4 feet it's kind of the standard on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. Um, and this is where I'll route all the wires. I'll just follow the wire loom. Under all trucks, there's a little wire loom that usually goes um, down the driver's side. And then I'll tap into the battery. Um, you can use 16 to 14 gauge wire. I just had some extra laying around. These uh, LED strips, uh, yeah, don't pull much amperage. Some various connectors. I did the solder uh, heat shrink type connection I'll show you. So I just cut a connection off one side, red and black wire. All these strips are standard. Here's the magnetic switch. When they touch, they'll uh, turn off the lights. So I'll show you where to place those. And this is the switch right here to turn it off. And this is nice in case you, you know, have a tailgate party or anything you can just automatically turn them off so here's a little strip that all trucks have kind of the edge of the bed liner and these are waterproof so even if you don't have a top these should be okay I just cleaned it all off with isopropyl alcohol and 16.4 feet for a five and a half foot bed I had a little extra I had about eight inches extra and the sticky double side sticky that's on doesn't stick well so I do recommend some high quality 3M and here's the switch installed you want to remove your tail lights just two 8 millimeter screws right there there's a couple ways to wire it up I'll show a link below of the switch I got but basically I didn't want the LED uh, ring on the switch to be on so I'll show you what wires I use. You don't need the red and black wire if you don't want the switch to be lit up all the time. You basically just need two wires. Green is to your battery and yellow is to your magnetic uh, switch. And you won't need the blue. So, good spot for a magnetic switch. There's lots of rooms on your truck bed. A lot of this doesn't sit flush, so it's nice. You just have to have it close. It doesn't have to touch. So in most truck beds, you have that little spot right there. And then you kind of want to slowly close and just make sure they're in near proximity. And they're double sticky, so worst case scenario, you can just move it. Have some extra 3M tape lying around. And you do want to fuse. The 5 amp fuse is enough. This pulls only two, less than 2 amps. And this goes straight to your positive terminal on your battery. I just use a little round connector. I have all the parts that you'll need in the links below. I found the cheapest and most high quality stuff on Amazon. You want to route it. Follow your wire loom. It goes behind your fender right there. Just kind of feed it around. You just use this wire loom to protect everything and lots of zip ties. So here's your magnetic switch wires. And then your positive terminal battery wire, red. And here's your LED strip wires. And then here's your button switch wires. Um, so I'll go pretty slowly. So this is your red wire from your battery. We'll connect it with your red wire from your LED strip. And then the ground black wire from your LED strip will connect to the green wire of the LED switch. And again, you don't need your red or black wire from your switch. And then your yellow wire will go to your magnetic switch. And that's pretty much it. And your ground wire from your magnetic switch will go to a bare metal. And that's pretty much it. Alright, and when you're all ready to go, just put in a fuse, 5 amps. When it closes, it turns off. 
when it opens it turns on here it is again super bright I went with the soft white just so it's not too painful for the eyes here's the strips and you can cut these strips here's the switch if you leave your tailgate open for too long and don't want to kill your bat battery you can just automatically turn it off and here's it magnetic switch working again and this is nice because I don't have to drill any holes in the trunk bed or anything you can remove this down the road or if the lights die here's your magnetic switch here's your switch it's a factory hole and that's it thanks